in the hills of New York, there is one small neighborhood called Wilberville. Here lies a 23-year-old man who loves cartoons, especially Billy the Bunny. Today, I will introduce you all the host of the show, Wally Wilbur. Hi, everybody. My name is Wally Wilbur. I'm just a 23-year-old man who loves cartoons. This is my pal, Ella Puck, Elsie. Say hi, Elsie. Rock! Hi, everybody. It's me, Elsie, and I'm an exotic Ella Puck found by my good friend Wally back in Tanzania. Elsie is a very unique animal from Africa. She's a really good girl. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of the cartoon character Billy the Bunny, right? Great! I love Billy the Bunny! Woo! I love Billy the Bunny too! Rock! But I think Fruit Jollies is better. What did you say, Elsie? Did you say Fruity Jollies are better than Billy the Bunny? Eh, sorry, Wally. I like fruits better than animals to eat. Okay, very funny, Elsie. I'm a better comedian than you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Elsie can be a bit, uh, cocky sometimes. But, uh, today I want to talk to you guys about a true story behind Belly the Bunny and Candy the Cat. How the two became best friends. <gasps> oh boy! Story time! I sometimes get a bit sleepy when Wally is reading stories. <laughs> All right, Elsie, I know you how much you hate my stories. You can sleep like a baby if you like. <laughs> Sorry about Elsie again. Um, this story I'm gonna pull out is from this book that my Mima gave to me before she passed. So sit back and let me read to you this great origin story of Bailey the Bunny and Candy the Cat's friendship. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a faraway island of Oakland, a fellow gremlin and birth couple named Gregs and Bertha were out planting some flowers in their garden. Hey Gregs, honey. What flower do you think we should plant today? Hmm, I don't know, Bertha. Perhaps we should plant a BB lotus. What's a BB lotus? A BB lotus is a flower that gives its grower a newborn baby animal. Oh my goodness. You mean we are going to have a baby? I always wanted to be a mom. Yes, Bertha. We are going to have a baby from a flower. I always wanted to be a dad myself. Yay. This is going to be a best life for all of us, including our baby. Our little boy, or little girl, is going to be so adorable. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, my love. Let's plant this flower now. And so, Bertha and Grex planted a BB lotus seed, and walked at the seed just so that it would grow. Bertha and Grex watched the seed grow. Days went by, and the plant grew, and grew, and grew, until the plant finally grew into a big, beautiful flower. And with the flower, came a small, bright yellow bunny sitting on top of it. Grex and Bertha couldn't believe their eyes. Oh my goodness. Look what this plant gave us, Grex. One small bundle of joy. <laughs> it looks so cute. What do you think we should name it? How about Bailey? That's a beautiful name. Bertha, let's raise this boy now. And now, it's been 15 years since a bunny named Bailey was born. Bailey can now talk, walk, and call his parents by their names. One day, Bailey wants to take a walk around the forests of Ogreland. Hey, Grix and Bertha, may I walk around Dogreland, please? Of course you can, Bailey. But be back soon. Me and Grex will be making some supper. Thank you so much. Meow. Help. Somebody, help. <coughs> huh? Who was that? Meow. Somebody please help. I'm so thirsty. <coughs> Sounds like somebody's over here. Oh my gosh. What's wrong, little one? I am lost. I don't know how to get home, and I haven't eaten or drank in days. Please help me. Don't worry, little one. I'll get you home soon. Hey, look. 
There's a river over there. Maybe you can drink from there. Really? Of course. Here in Agri land, all water is spring water. It's safe to drink here in this land. Thank you so much, Bunny Boy. <coughs> Yummy. That was so good. Thank you so much, Bunny Boy. Ah, oh, you're welcome, Kitty Cat. What is your name? Um, I don't know. I don't know who I am. I'm gonna call you... Candy. You like that name? Candy? Oh, yes. I love that name. It fits me very well. Thank you, Bunny Bro. Oh, you can call me Bailey. Bailey Hoppington. Come on, let me take you to your new home. Hey guys, I'm back. And look who I brought with me. Oh, a newcomer. What is her name? Her name is Candy. She was lost when I found her. She was very thirsty, so I showed her a river to drink water from. Now she just needs a home. Grox, can you make me and Candy a tree house? It would be really nice for the both of us to live together. Pretty, pretty please? Yeah, I'm Mr. Grax, Bailey, and I would like a tree house. That would be a whiskerful idea. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, kids. I'll make a tree house for you guys. I'll be inside making some supper. Okay, guys. I just built you both a tree house. What do you think? Wow. The tree house looks really nice. It even has my fur color. This is just perfect for the both of us. Thank you so much, Mr. Grax. You are both welcome. And please, call me Grix. Grix, kids, come inside. I made veggie brownie burgers for dinner. Oh, bunny perfect. That's my treat. Oh boy, I can't wait to have some food after so long. And so, Bailey, Grex, and Bertha, alongside a newcomer named Candy, enjoyed Bertha's nice supper. And Bailey and Candy enjoyed the rest of their days together inside their new tree house. The end. Wow, that was a great story, isn't it? Wait a minute, where's Elsie? She told me she's going to be sleeping. Molly, I got home with some fruits. There you are, Elsie. Where have you been? I thought you were going to sleep here. Why did you go to the store without me knowing? You could have asked me to take your feathery butt. But thanks for the fruits, by the way. Yeah, he's look. Elsie gave me this apple. It's my favorite fruit. Psst. Hey, guys. The fruits secretly have bombs inside of them. 